Hi, I'm Michelle from The Allergy Menu and today I'm going to make a coconut cake. It's so easy and it's really delicious and also it is egg free, nut free, dairy free and gluten free. So what do we put in it? Well, I'm using coconut flour which has this kind of yellowy hue to it and it smells really great. And I've added one teaspoon of gluten free baking powder and I'm going to sift that three times. It tends to make a lighter cake. And I'll just put it in here. Two and three. Right. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of desiccated coconut. Just make sure there's no nasty additives in there. Get it from the health food store. And one cup of caster sugar. And half a cup of coconut oil and one cup of rice milk to which I'm also adding one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and I've also added one teaspoon of xanthan gum in there as well just to make it bind extra well. Now all you do is mix the ingredients together it's very easy. And remember it's got no eggs, no dairy products, no gluten, no wheat, and no nut products either. So it's perfect for most allergies. Coconut flour gives a really beautiful aroma and texture. So simply mix it all together and then place it in a lined baking loaf tin and bake for 45 minutes. So. The mixture is quite crumbly, it's not really liquidy. Just pop it in there, smooth it out. Preheated oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and that is also gas mark 4. And just bake it for 45 minutes. Now if it starts to brown too much on the top, halfway through, simply cover your loaf tin with a layer of alfoil and that will reduce the browning on the top. So just even it out, looks like that, and then pop it in the oven. And after 45 minutes, pull it out of the oven and it should look like this, just browned around the edges. Now just leave your cake to cool in the tin. Then top with your favourite yummy icing and serve. So yummy. The children say this cake tastes just like the Australian lamington. Yum.